Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a wonderful day. It's a marvelous day. It's a day that we have never seen before. Hallelujah. We're grateful this morning. Hallelujah. For this wonderful day. Hallelujah. We're grateful. Because God has set us free, hallelujah. And having therefore obtained help from God, we continue unto this day. We're yet witnessing to those both great and small. We're excited this morning as we encourage you to come on in the house. This is the house of prayer. Hallelujah, where we're praying according to the scripture, crying loud, sparing not, lifting up our voice like a trumpet, hallelujah, so that men and women all across this land, hallelujah, Mother Williams will know that, hey, there is good news and we can repent and we can be saved, hallelujah. And what a blessing it is to know that in this last day, hallelujah, that we yet have the opportunity to be saved. We want to thank you this morning for joining us on It's High Time to Pray with Pastor Val. I am your host this morning, hallelujah, founder, co-founder, pastor of the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry, Valerie D. Clark. And it is so good that you're joining us here in this morning. We're going to ask that you like and share, 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 so that your family and friends can hear the good news. We have to share as we pray the word of God. Good morning, Brother Abram. Hallelujah. Good morning, Mother Ruby. Hallelujah, Cousin Pat. We're all in this together. Hallelujah. Sharing the good news, the good news, what the Lord has done for us. And we're continuing our series in Galatians this morning. We're in Galatians chapter five. And uh, let's see, we're going to read verses one through seven. We're going to see if we can cover most of that today. And they declare, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. For we through the spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Ye did run well. Who did hinder you that you did not obey the truth? What a question, what a question. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and the doers of his holy word. Amen. And our prayer focus, hallelujah, this morning will be called to freedom from the bondage of the law. Mm. How many of you know, hallelujah, in Christ Jesus, there's liberty, there's freedom in Christ Jesus. And we are called, hallelujah, to freedom from the bondage of the law. Let the church shout hallelujah. 
Amen. Hallelujah. We know that Christ, hallelujah, is with us. And uh, Brother Sanders, he's done a great work whereof we are glad and we're excited to know that God's word is the truth. Hallelujah. It's going to take us from earth to glory. Trustee Lee, we've got to depend and trust in the Lord with all of our heart. What does the Bible said? Lean not unto thine understanding, but acknowledge the Lord in all thy ways, and he will direct our path. So we're excited this morning as we pray the word of God. Hallelujah. Call to freedom. Mm. We're free, Zion. Hallelujah. We are free. Hallelujah. And the Lord has set us free from the bondage of the law. It's written. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God. You got it right. Hallelujah. We're grateful. Brother Emory, to know that we're free. Somebody ought to just type that in the chat this morning. We're free, free, free. Hallelujah. Thank God I'm free. I'm no longer bound. Hallelujah. Because sometimes when we listen to certain ones, they'll try to bind you up. And yet, no, we are free. No longer bound. Ah, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's our liberator this morning and we're excited. Hallelujah, because he has set us free from the bondage of the law. And that's going to take us, hallelujah, Evangelist Harper, into our prayer, because we are excited that the Lord has made us free. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I was once entangled and I don't want to go back. <laughs> I'm so glad to be free. Hallelujah. Don't have to look over my shoulder, wonder who's looking at me for doing whatever. I'm free. No longer bound. Hallelujah. The Lord has set us free. Hallelujah. Let us go into our prayer this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for being our God. We thank you, Lord, for being our good shepherd. Hallelujah. That watches over us. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, for your redemption power. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for making us free and whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Oh, Father, we're excited this morning to pray this word. We're excited this morning to know, hallelujah, that we are free in you, Christ Jesus. You are our liberator and we are free in thee no longer bound, hallelujah, by the law. We are free. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that you've watched over us all night long. You've blessed us over the holiday weekend, and we are grateful that we're here this morning on this live, hallelujah, at 6 a.m., declaring your word, for it is your word that have saved us, sanctified us, hallelujah, and made us Free. And we're excited about that. We're excited, hallelujah, that we know that as we continue to seek and to serve you, hallelujah, that the best is yet to come. Because one of these days, hallelujah, we're going to see your face in peace. We shall behold him. Ah, glory, hallelujah. And we're excited to know that we're going to behold your face in peace. Oh, God, we thank you this morning, hallelujah, that as we pray your word, we are excited to know, hallelujah, as we are liberated and free, hallelujah, from the bondage, hallelujah, of the law. We're grateful for the writings, hallelujah, of apostle, hallelujah, to make it plain, to make it clear, unto us. Hallelujah. And we are grateful this morning that through you, Christ Jesus, we can maintain our Christian liberty. We're grateful this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, we can hold our flag up high. It's because of you hanging on Calvary's cross. Hallelujah. 
your blood. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for being buried in a borrowed tomb and for raising us on the third day. Hallelujah. <clears throat> With all power in your hand. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Because we can stand fast. Therefore, in the liberty wherewith you have made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. This morning, Lord, it is our prayer, hallelujah, mm, that you help us to be steadfast in you, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that our labor of love, our labor is not in vain. And for that, Father, hallelujah, we pray according to your scripture this morning, hallelujah, uh, that ye come not among these nations that remain among you, neither make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause to swear by them. Hallelujah, neither serve them nor bow yourselves unto them, but cleave unto the Lord your God as ye have done unto this day. Zion, our mind is made up and we're on our way up and it is our determination, it is our desire, it is our prayer that we stay close to the Lord. Hallelujah, as he declared in Job 11, 14, if iniquity be in thine hand, put it far away and let not wickedness dwell in thy tabernacle. I tell you, Zion, we have to know without a shadow of a doubt that when we're in the kingdom, hallelujah of God, hallelujah, that we're no longer practicing sin. We're no longer, hallelujah, allowing these words Hallelujah, that should be unmentionable. Hallelujah, just flowing out of our mouths. Filthy communication. It should not, hallelujah, be named among us regardless how upset or how angry we got. That's why we have to make sure that our lamps are trimmed and burning and that our Oil is full and overflowing because if it's full and overflowing, that filth, first of all, is not going to come out of your mouth because it's not in your heart. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So you can't say, whoops, I didn't mean that. It was in your heart. Let the church shout hallelujah. Mm. Ah, for then shall thou lift up thy face without spot. Yea, thou shalt be steadfast and shall not fear. Come on, Zion. Hallelujah. Ah, we got to get some grip in our backbone. Hallelujah. We have to stand fast. Hallelujah. Stand fast. Hallelujah. That means you're not going to be tossed to and fro with every wind of darkness. Hallelujah. Ah, we were made free. Hallelujah. And that refers to freedom, to live a holy life by evidencing faith in Christ and the cross. Hallelujah. Zion, it's up to us. We have to do it. Hallelujah. We can't afford to be going back to our old habits, being entangled in the garbage that we were once entangled in. Hallelujah. God has set us free from that. And we will not go back. Hallelujah. We have to make up our minds, make that declaration. You have what you say, and I will not go back. I believe one of the psalmists wrote, I won't go back. Hallelujah. My God's been too good to me, and I will not turn back. No, I will not go back. Hallelujah. Make your mind up. I will not go back. I'll stand fast in the liberty, in the freedom that Christ has made me free. Hallelujah. No longer the old way. Hallelujah. By laws. Hallelujah. But now we have a new and a better way. Jesus Christ came 
and by grace are we saved. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, the Bible declares in 1 Corinthians 15, 58, as we pray the word, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know, that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. God is taking a note of what you're doing. Nothing that you are doing for the Lord is in vain. He sees everything that you do and he's taking a note. Hallelujah. And that's why it's so important, sign that as we go forth in him that we know, mm, God sits high and he looks low and he's taking a note. Hallelujah. So whatever your hands find to do, hallelujah, do it with all of your might. Hallelujah. Do it as unto the Lord, because keep in mind, he's watching. He's seeing us. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is right. Ah, and somebody's wrong. Hallelujah. Philippians 1 27. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. Mm -hmm. Ah, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs that you stand fast in one spirit with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. Hallelujah. This is what we must do, Zion. Hallelujah. We cannot be so caught up in the world. Hallelujah. That one day we're Christian. One day we're R&B. One day we're gospel. One day we're on the devil's chair. Please. Hallelujah. God is not the author of confusion. You on the Lord's side or you on Satan's side. Hallelujah. And if you haven't chose the Lord's side, you were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. So, you know, you automatically got your ticket on the devil's side. Hallelujah. So you and I must make our calling and election sure to make up our minds. Lord, help us to stand fast. Hallelujah. Where with you have made us free and be not entangled again with this yoke of bondage, hallelujah. Ah, to abandon the cross and go under law of any kind guarantees bondage once again to the sin nature and we're not in bondage. I believe you need to help me pray and type that in the chat. No longer under bondage, hallelujah. Ah, we pray the word of God according to 1 Peter 5, 9, who resists steadfast and faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Hallelujah. So therefore, stand fast. Be like a rock. Hallelujah. I shall not be moved like a tree planted by the rivers of the water. I shall not be moved. Hallelujah. You have to have your mind made up. Hallelujah. First, second Peter 3, 17 declares, Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also be led away with error of the wicked, Fall from your own steadfastness. Hallelujah. I declare unto you, Zion, mm, if we ever needed the Lord, we sure do need him now. Because if we're not rooted and grounded in faith, we're going to be led away with all of these false prophets. I'm telling you, they on every corner. It has gotten so bad. Hallelujah. That everywhere you turn, whether you turn on the TV, the radio, the newspaper, hallelujah, reading a magazine, just false prophets popping up, hallelujah. And that's why you have to know your word. That's why it's so important we pray the word. When you know the word, you won't be tripped up. 
Tell somebody, pray the word. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, the Bible is right and somebody's wrong. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, behold. Hallelujah. Mark my word, that is. I, Paul, say unto you, hallelujah, presents, this, this is the apostle's authority, hallelujah, regarding the message he brings. Apostle Paul, he was the real deal. And this is what we have to be, the real deal. It's time out and it's never been time for the fake and the phony. But it's time for those of us that are genuine to stand on our posts, stand guard, hallelujah, and let the world know, hallelujah, that we must do what the word of God says. Hallelujah. And Paul, he's saying unto us that if you be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. See, I mean, you know, it was just a time when they were trying to get uh, Christians to go back to Judaism, go back out of the law. No, it's a new day. It's a new covenant. It's a better way. Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Because if the believer goes back into the law, and the law of any kind, what Christ did at the cross on our behalf will profit us nothing. Hallelujah. One cannot have it two ways. And that's what I say. And I agree wholeheartedly. You're either in or you're out. You're either on or you're off. You're either black or you're white. Hallelujah. You can't have it both ways. As they used to say, oh, she's straddling the fence. Mm -mm. Ain't no straddling the fence. You either on or you off. Because if you're straddling, you ain't off. Hallelujah. You're fickle. Hallelujah. And a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the church shout. Hallelujah. Ah, let us be. Hallelujah. Ah, as Christ have called us to be. Hallelujah. We can't try and we should not be reverted back to Judaism. No, the devil is alive. Hallelujah. God has set it up. Hallelujah. And it's his way. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God, because the Bible is right and somebody's wrong. If you consist or if you insist on circumcision, you take on the whole obligation of the law. And we ain't even trying to do that. Hallelujah. You then testify that you seek justification by the law instead of by faith. So Christ will profit you nothing. It is either the old or the new. Tell somebody it's either the old or the new covenant, which you must observe. So take your choice. Hallelujah. In case you choose the law, you are falling from grace. Hallelujah. And how many of you know we need God's grace? Hallelujah. Every breath we breathe, we need the grace of God. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is clear. Hallelujah. Ah, that every man that is circumcised as a token of obedience to the old covenant is a debtor to do the whole law, including sacrifices, offerings, and commandments. Every man that is not so circumcised is free from all such law observance, including the Ten Commandments. He is only under obligation, hallelujah, to obey the laws and commandments of the new covenant. Hallelujah. Make your choice. Hallelujah. You cannot have it both ways. Hallelujah. And as we pray, mm, my God, the word of God, hallelujah. Ah, because we are not trusting in works, hallelujah. Not at all, hallelujah. Ah, let's not get it twisted. We are not, ah, trusting in works. And we pray according to the scripture, hallelujah. Ah, the Bible declares in Luke 18, 12, hallelujah. 
I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Huh? These are trusting and works. Romans 9, 32. Wherefore, because thy thought it not by faith, but as it were the works of the law, for they stumbled at that stumbling stone. Hallelujah. Romans 10, 3. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Listen, Zion, let's not get it twisted. The Lord Jesus Christ, he did the work on the cross. And when he said it is finished, it is finished. Hallelujah. Ah, we're saved by faith. Hallelujah. By grace through faith. Hallelujah. Ah, for as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. This is Galatians 3.10. For it is written, cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Zion, let's not put our trust in works. Hallelujah. Ah, for Christ. Hallelujah. This is a chilling statement. Christ is become of no effect unto you. This is a chilling statement. Hallelujah. It refers to anyone who makes anything other than Christ and the cross the object of their faith. Hallelujah. He's the center of my joy. Hallelujah. And he is the object of my faith. Hallelujah. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, that's who seek to be justified by the law. You are fallen, hallelujah, from grace. And God knows, hallelujah, that's not us. Hallelujah, because when you're fallen from the position of grace, which means the believer is trusted in some thing other than the cross. Listen, mm -mm. hallelujah, you must trust the Lord. Hallelujah, the old folks used to sing it all the time. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord till I die. They got their hope and they trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. He's the one that saved us. We're saved by grace, Zion. Come on, let's go forward in God. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, the Bible is right and somebody's wrong. Hallelujah. Because works, they're just insufficient. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is clear as we pray the word, hallelujah, according to Matthew 7, 22, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils, hallelujah, and in thy name done many wonderful works? He's going to tell you, I know you not, you that work of iniquity. Hallelujah. We're not saved according to your works. Hallelujah. Matthew 7, 23. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. It's written, Zion. Hallelujah. And so it is. Amen. Amen. Romans 3, 20. We pray the word, therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for the law is the knowledge of sin. Zion, we are called to freedom from the bondage of the law. That's our prayer focus this morning. Hallelujah. Lord, help us to get that revelation. Hallelujah. Romans 3.20 declares, therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Galatians 2.16 declares, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, hmm, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ. 
that we might be justified, Zion, by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. It's written, Zion. And so let us heed to the word of God as we pray, Lord, help us to get it. Hallelujah. Ephesians 2, 8, for by grace are ye saved through faith. Hmm. Ah, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. Don't you want to receive the gift? It's a gift of God. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God. You know, and I can recall when I was a young girl, 19 years old, amen, all of us on the altar, we want to receive the Holy Ghost. And, and you'd hear one say, say, thank you, Jesus. The other one says, say, hallelujah. The other one says, say, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you. Hallelujah. And I mean, they were just praying with us. We called it Terrian back in the day. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, and being one would say, you don't have to work for it. It's a gift. Just open your heart and receive it. It's a gift, Zion. You want the Holy Ghost? God got it for you. It's a gift. Just ask him for it. Open up your heart and say, Lord, I receive it. It's by faith. Hallelujah. You may not feel like running around the church and jumping over a mountain. You may not feel like that. Hallelujah. But just know in your heart, hallelujah, God's all right with me. Hallelujah. Let the church out glory. <laughs> glory, glory. Hallelujah. Ah, our works are insufficient. Hallelujah. Ah, Titus 3, 4 declares, but after the kindness and love of God, our Savior, for man appear, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. He saved us by his mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Ah, uh, you ought to help me pray and help somebody this morning. Hallelujah. And tell them God, hallelujah, already did the work. The work is already done. Just receive. Hallelujah, what he has for you. Hallelujah, let the church shout glory. Ah, we're excited this morning as we pray the word of God. Hallelujah, understanding the word of God as we pray. Hallelujah. Ah, because we have made up in my mind. Hallelujah, we won't go back. My God has been too good to me. Hallelujah. There's no backsliding here. Hallelujah. It's nothing. Hallelujah. That the world has. Hallelujah. That I want or that you should want. Why? Because the days are fastly approaching. Our time is coming. Hallelujah. Whether we're caught up in the rapture or whether he calls your name, you must be ready. Hallelujah. And that's why the day is at hand. Hallelujah, the night is far spent and we, our, our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. Our Bible is clear, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah, Matthew 24, 12, hallelujah. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, hallelujah. And, and you know, when you see that to people that have declared you know, they're in the church or they're sanctified and their love is just so cold. They're so uh, indifferent. Hallelujah. You just know. Mm -mm. No, that ain't it. And Lord, hallelujah, help me to be like you because that ain't what you want to be like. Let the church shout glory. Ah, oh, because they're unfit for the kingdom. In Luke 9, 62, it declares, and Jesus said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So don't fool yourself 
thinking that, ah, oh, once I got the Holy Ghost, I'm saved forever and ever. Mm -mm. Honey, you can backslide. You can, hallelujah, trip your hallelujah, looking back, seeing what the world doing, desiring all that filth. Hallelujah. It's a shame. Hallelujah. Some on these phones. Hallelujah. They're liking all this filth. And yet they're declaring their children, sons and daughters of the most high. Hallelujah. You got it twisted. God is not involved in that. Hallelujah. It's just like um, it's as bad as having pornography on your phone. Hallelujah. And you're liking it. Hallelujah. Somebody half naked, all twisted up. and can't. Come on, Zion. We got to do better. Hallelujah. I'm fit for the kingdom. Ah, because bondage, hallelujah, it will form. The Bible declares in Galatians 4 9, which is one of our scriptures uh, in this uh, book today. But now after that ye have known God, or rather are known of God, how turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements? Whereunto you desire again to be in bondage, huh? He says, "You what? Are you serious? Hallelujah! You came out of that stuff. So why are you talking like that? Why do you want to come back? Let your conversation become that of whole limits. We don't want to hear about your filth. Hallelujah! And you shouldn't want to talk about it, Sister Lucille. Let the church shout Hallelujah! Ah, Hallelujah! Because they're despised." divine displeasure in that God is not pleased. He said, according to his word in Hebrews uh, 1038, and now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, uh, you ought to make up in your mind this morning, hallelujah, that I'm going to be enthusiastic about what the Lord is doing for me and my house. Because that's for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Hallelujah. My God, I got so much more. My time is just about out. It is out. Hallelujah. But let me say unto you this morning, hallelujah, that it is imperative, hallelujah, that we as Christians, hallelujah, that we seek to do those things that are pleasing unto God. Hallelujah. Ah, my God, for through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit works exclusively within the perimeters of the sacrifice of Christ. Consequently, he demands that we place our faith exclusively in the cross of Christ. Hallelujah. Ah, that's what it's all about, Zion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, wait for the hope of righteousness, which is guaranteed to ultimately come. Hallelujah, God, hallelujah, by faith is going to show us just what it's all about. Hallelujah. And that's the faith in Christ and what he did for us at the cross. Hallelujah. Ah, my God, hallelujah. Well, Hallelujah, my time is out. I'm, I'm not near about through. Hallelujah. But anyway, I want you to know, hallelujah, that our prayer focus this morning called to freedom from the bondage of the law. We are free, Zion, from the bondage of the law. And Father, we thank you, hallelujah, that as you have made us free from the bondage of the law, that we will not be entangled again with the yoke of sin. Oh, no, 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 hallelujah. But it is our desire to please you. And Father, we pray, hallelujah, that as we have this desire, oh God, that you will just increase it the more, even as we go through these days. And Father, it is our prayer, hallelujah, that you remember each and every one that's on this live this morning. Hallelujah. That you will just govern their spirit. Mm. And that you will sanctify them even the more as they acknowledge you and acknowledge, hallelujah, that they're free. Hallelujah. Ah, from the bondage 
of the law, hallelujah, because of your work that you did on Calvary's cross. Hallelujah. And for that, Lord, we said thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. And Father, it is our prayer, hallelujah, that you remember those that are sick. Hallelujah. Those that are hurting. Hallelujah. Those that know you're not in the pardon of their sins. Help them, Lord Jesus, to acknowledge you and to seek you before it's too late. And Father, we thank you that you bring in clarity to our life through this prayer. And we pray, oh God, for all of those that are on our Facebook Live or YouTube, hallelujah, that they will be the ones that you're calling for in this last and wicked day in these perilous times. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you, Facebook family. We pray that you've been blessed by its high time to pray this morning with Pastor Val. You may view this rebroadcast 24-7 on our Facebook page, YouTube channel, and website. We want you to know, hallelujah, if this has been a blessing to you, remember to like and to share, and the Lord put it upon your spirit, sow a seed, hallelujah, that we may continue to do the ministry the Lord have called us to do, because it's of the Lord's doing that we are not consumed. And always remember, Zion, that only what you do for Christ will last. It's what we do for Christ. That's what's going to matter in the end. Only what we do for Christ will last. I'm so grateful to see all of you that have come in and joined us this morning. I pray that you have a spiritual week, that you continue to allow the Lord, hallelujah, to be your life. Knowing that it's in you, it is in the Lord that we live that we move and that we have our be. Without him, we can do nothing. We are nothing, hallelujah. But with Christ Jesus, we can do all things. I love you. It's been real. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may his wind continue to blow you to the destiny that he has for your life. Until we see each other again, hallelujah. Be safe and know that you are called to freedom from the bondage of the law. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye. Shalom.